So welcome in folks to another tactics video here for FC24. As always, my name is Ash or Brummer18 and here by popular demand, we have Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool system. So with that being said, roll the intro and let's get stuck into this tactic. So finally, you guys get what you wish. We're gonna cover this system today. It is a 4-3-3 system and there are a lot of tweaks and changes that we've seen to the system over the years, in particular since we last covered it. So first things first, let's talk about the position changes. You'll notice that there are a few different areas and stuff where things have been tweaked. It looks a little bit funky here. First things first, with the two fullbacks, you're going to want to move them to wing back. Now, there's a couple of things that you need to focus on here. First things first, with Robertson, you can just move him out wide. But with Alexander-Arnold, who's now playing that more inverted fullback role, what you want to make sure you do is you want to move him to a place where he's as close to the centre midfielder and the centre back as possible until you can't move him anymore. So as you can see, this is the final place we can move him. What this will do is it does a much better job of replicating that inverted fullback role. It will get them tighter into the midfield and really closer to those central congested areas. Another thing you should also be wary of is that you want to make sure these two central midfielders are adjusted to right central midfielder and left central midfielder as that does a better job of getting them in the half channels and spaces more which is what we're looking for with that kind of rotation of the three. What about the tactical instructions then? Well before we go into that I'll quickly want to say if you want to see how this tactic ranks and rates you want to get access to exclusive tactics videos like Hirona like uh, Farioli's niece, like a whole bunch of other systems, then make sure to check out my Patreon. It is the best way to support the channel. You get lots of fantastic perks on there. Not only the other ones I've mentioned, but also Discord server access, fantasy football access, behind the scenes videos, a whole lot more as well. It is a fantastic way to support the channel and you guys on Patreon are what is keeping the channel going. So a huge thank you to everyone who is kindly donating to me. In terms of said tactical instructions though, we've got press after possession loss for the defensive style. The team width then is moved down to 20 to get nice and compact, and then the depth is up to 90, giving you a very high block to supplement that press that they are, of course, well known for. Build up play is on slow build up, and then a chance creation is forward runs. That's how you're gonna get the emphasis between them trying to play through the thirds, but also that counter attack, those quick transitions that you always see them kind of implementing. In terms of the width, this is on 20, mostly because we're trying to replicate that Alexander-Arnold role. It's important when you create those inverted fullbacks that you also have the width lower if you can, because that's really going to complement that. Uh, in terms of players in the box, this is on 5, giving you roughly 3 to 4 players in the box in crossing situations. And in corners of free kicks, both of these are on 4. So let's talk about the player instructions then. Starting off with Alisson in goal, he's on comes of crosses and also sweep a keeper. The two centre-backs are absolutely fine. You don't need to change anything there. And then with regards to Robertson in this case, first of all, he's on join the attack and then his run type is on mix. Sometimes he does come into those more central areas when Diaz stretches out more wide. A little bit of a different role as we spoke about compared to what they used to have. Whereas Alexander-Arnold on the other hand, he's also on join the attack, but naturally as that inverted fullback, his run type will be on inverted. With the central defensive midfielder, in this case Alexis McAllister, he's uncut passing lanes for his defensive behaviour, and then his attacking support is stay back whilst attacking. In terms of his defensive position, that's cover wing, and in his positioning freedom, is deep lying playmaker. Now next to the two central midfielders, what you will notice is, in those crossing and cutback situations, one of them will come into the box and one of them hovers just outside. Now obviously we can't replicate that fully in terms of the varying movement of those two. We have to set one to get into the box and one to stay on the edge. So in this case, I just went for the right-sided central midfielder to get into the box of the cross, and then the left-sided central midfielder to stay on the edge of the box of the cross. But you can obviously choose whichever you prefer. Balanced attack for both of them in terms of their attacking support. And then in terms of the positioning freedom, you want them on drift wide. This is to get those interchangeable movement between them and the winger and the wing backs, etc. And the defensive position for both of them uh, is on cover wing. Let's talk about the left and right side wingers next then. We've got them on comeback on defensive support to get them tracking back. Chance creation is actually on balance width as they rotate a little bit between angling their runs to get in behind, but also staying wider to show for the ball when those fullbacks do invert. Their support runs are on getting behind and it is getting to the box for the cross and that is the same for both of the wingers. Now with Nunez up front, we've got his support runs on balanced width 
and his attacking runs are on get in behind. His defense support is stay forward. And with that being said, we are just about ready to round it off there. If you found this one helpful, make sure to hit subscribe button, ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload and drop a like on the video. But most importantly, check out my Patreon. It's a great way to support the channel. You can see how this tactic ranks and rates. You can get access to exclusive tactics videos like Nice, like Corona and a whole ton more and you can get access to behind the scenes videos and all that good stuff. With that being said, we're going to round it off there. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And until the next one, I will see you soon.